Hi, I'm Tina Gonzalez. Today I'll be asking for your help as I talk with the patient about the dangers of neutropenia and infections during chemo. Joseph Hines is 60 years old and has been diagnosed with stage 2 lung cancer. I'll rely on you to use the on-screen menu to choose what I say during our conversation. Your goals during this conversation are to make sure Joseph understands the risk of neutropenia during chemo, ways to avoid infection, especially during his nadir, early signs of infection, and when to contact his medical team. You can accomplish these goals by providing Joseph with all the information he needs, doing frequent checks for understanding, and making sure he feels comfortable contacting his medical team with any questions or concerns. I know that as an oncology provider, you're already well-versed in talking with your patients about neutropenia. This simulation is an opportunity to evaluate and practice how you conduct these conversations to ensure you're following the best practices recommended by the CDC, both in what information you provide and how you provide it. You'll receive feedback throughout the simulation, and when the conversation is over, you'll receive an assessment of your overall performance. Let's get started. Mr. Hines, good to see you today. Thanks. And call me Joe. Mr. Hines is my father. All right, Joe. So what's your understanding of why you're here today? Well, uh, to prepare for my chemo next week. That's right. I know your oncologist reviewed some of this on your last visit. Do you have any specific questions, or would you like me to review a few things with you? Uh, I remember some, I think. But a refresher would be nice. It was all a little mu <coughs> much. It is a lot of information, so you need to pay close attention this time, okay? Oh, well, I, uh... This is all for your health and safety. Yeah, got it. Are you scolding me? My life has been turned upside down, okay? I'm doing my best here. I understand. You've had a lot of new information thrown at you. It's a lot to process. So much. So, so much. I know it can be overwhelming. We'll make sure you feel comfortable with everything and have all your questions answered before you leave today. We'll send some materials home with you, too. That'd be great. Neutropenia is caused by an abnormally low level of neutrophils. Neutro what? Neutrophils, a common white blood cell. A count of less than 1,500 neutrophils per microliter of blood is considered to be neutro... I'm, uh, I I'm sorry, I'm not following. Can you bring the doctor talk down a few notches? I have no idea what you're saying. 